If you did remove the shaft with the gears, I'll show you in a moment the gears here, how to put them back in place. So this is the shuffle. You have kind of fork of the shuffle and you have at the top here, you have that pin right on the left of my finger. That's the hook. So uh, perhaps look how it sits in there with the needle. At, that's the lowest position of the needle. So you have the, uh, the fork just goes slightly to the right of the needle and that or whatever you call it, that the hook, the tip right there, it's to the left of the needle. I don't think it has to be 100% accurate. Maybe you can move it millimeter to the left, to the right. Um, let me just lift the needle at this moment to show you something. Uh, that's the shuffle. That's how it goes in there. Basically, you have that fork and I call this the hook, the pin, whatever you call it. And uh, the flat part goes against the, uh, the part that sits in there. Let's adjust a second. All right. So these two parts just face to each other and um, that's how it sits in there. But this is the shaft and this is the part of the shaft it's attached to the shaft and you probably did remove the shaft it comes from this side all together with this piece i will recommend you to try to put one or two droplets of i will use engine oil right there at the top and just uh, make it move and maybe put the machine on the other side flip it so as to lubricate the shaft that's inside there obviously you're going to whip off, wipe off uh, so you don't uh, uh, you know put oil on your thread uh, these are the gears that sit on the other side and it's a very good idea if you can to remove the covers but the covers is a horror story because the screws are hidden there are clips on the covers it just looks impossible to remove but you may want to remove the rear cover if you manage to and to clean these gears so clean everything wipe them clean because the grease that's put in there after 10 years 15 years gets sticky it gets very very sticky in between the two gears you need to remove that old grease whatever it is and put new grease i did use synthetic grease and also remove all the grit what you find because there are bits of thread bits of dust that get packed in there uh, now i did see a video on youtube what where a guy did remove this gear they remove the shaft uh, and also the small collar there are screw that you need an allen key for it but it's very very tricky job because first like I, uh, I was explaining at the beginning you need to align to be sure to align those three things uh, more or less like this maybe put the needle at the highest position and you need to mark the gear this is the first the metal gear D shaft mark the center or scratch it and the other you need to put them all together uh, also this gear here has to sit at certain depth to make contact not too tight and not to lose between the gears. Uh, the collar too has a tiny, tiny play against the casing. It's not tight, but has just a small play. So it's all an adjustment. You see how much the uh, shaft comes out my gear. Uh, but also the gear here has two, uh, two locking screw. The shaft also has two locking screw, but my gear was uh, pressed in on the shaft was extremely difficult to remove also it's very difficult to put back in place if not impossible you may use C clamp or something like that because the gear here the gear when I say gear is the part that goes uh, from about this to this that's that's a whole piece here and then the black piece here is just a collar and this gear has to stay very very tight on the shaft if it slips while moving because this gear moves like this is shaking a lot if it slips uh, it uh, jumps out the timing and you may damage the gear to may damage the shuffle you may damage some part inside the sewing machine so it has to be really tight that's why mine was pressed on the shaft on top of the two locking screws it's crazy to remove it crazy to put it back in place also it's crazy to slide the shaft out of the other side because on top of all this there is a k on the shaft which is just uh, is not used to align the gear it's just a k i'm just keeping that part why it was made anyhow that k when you try to slide the shaft off out from there will just 
scratch the bushing that's inside and that's not good and also it will feel it the shaft doesn't want to come out to the other side because it's scratching against the bushing so it's a whole history also if you try to clean the shaft if you manage to remove it only use a uh, steel wire mesh never use sandpaper in any way uh, don't uh, try to clean the shaft uh, the um, collar inside the bushing inside because that has not to be scratched in any way put uh, two two droplets of engine oil uh, put a uh, grease on the gears uh, but my advice is try not to remove if you feel this shaft is stuck inside the cast try to bring the machine to a shop to a repair shop what you can do if you manage to remove the covers just clean and lubricate these two gears and uh, try to see if it fixes usually that will cause uh, uh, stitches not being even and uh, stuff like that so try not to mess with this part if you can if it's not too late for you